Hey guys, this is Africa and I'm so excited. I'm gonna get started here in just a moment. Um, I'm really looking forward to talking about this whole idea of really being selfish, right? Because so many people think that if you are taking care of yourself, that you're really being super selfish. And I just want to say that it's like patently untrue. You know, I always say to, especially women, because I, I work primarily with women, you know, you've got to take care of yourself. And sometimes this is really hard to do. It's really hard to take care of yourself. You know, it, it feels, like I said, selfish. You know, if you take a hot bath, if you go and get a massage, if you give yourself even a spa day or, you know, go and get that latte, spend a little time alone, it seems to other people like you're being selfish. And I really have started wondering why that is, right? And I'm just going to say one thing before I get into my entire tirade. In order to give to other people, your well has to be full, right? It actually has to be spilling over, full. You cannot give to others from a dry well, right? If you have a well in your yard and you want to give other people water and it's empty, can you give them water? No. If you're not taking care of yourself, if you're not doing what you need to to rejuvenate yourself, can you really give the best of yourself to others? No. It's kind of like I was thinking about the other day when you're pregnant. You know, when you're pregnant, they always tell you to eat healthy, to do everything you can, to exercise, all that good stuff, so that you can have a healthy baby and you can have an easier pregnancy. Well, guess what? Whether or not you eat healthy, if you don't have the right nutrients in your body, the right minerals, the right vitamins that you're consuming, the baby will just strip it from your bones, right? And if your bones go away, are you even going to be able to deliver a baby? No, <laughs> that sounds kind of a little over the top, but you get the point. You cannot give from an empty well. You really have to do what seems like being selfish to really go out and take care of yourself, to feel good about yourself. So you can really give everything that you have. Right? It might even, it's a little counterintuitive, right? To think, well, if I go and I give myself a weekend alone, if I give myself time to journal or whatever it is you like to do, even if it's like binge watching a show on Netflix without interruption, eating ice cream and bonbons, I mean, like whatever it is, whatever it is that fills you up, that makes you feel inspired without mind you, completely checking out. Now, binge watching sometimes is about checking out, but if that's what fills you up, if, like you need to watch good Hallmark movies or whatever it is, go do that. Go do what makes you happy. Go do what makes you feel inspired. Go do all of those things. Fill yourself up. Be selfish. Because that's the only way you'll get self full Give yourself self-love and start filling up that well, that well that sometimes feels super empty. You know, sometimes we go out and we just buy stuff to make ourselves feel better. I know a lot of people do this. I we used to be one of those people who did that. You know, I don't feel good, so I'm going to go buy something. You know, they call it retail therapy. And it's because there's that part of yourself that you're not really loving. There's that part of yourself that feels empty and you need to fill it up with something. You know, sometimes people fill it up with drugs, sometimes alcohol, sometimes shopping, you know, sometimes TV watching and hoarding. I mean, there's all sorts of ways. But if you do things that are good and healthy for you, if you make sure to pay attention to what you need so that you can really give to others, that's the epitome of what you can do. That's the best thing that you can do for your family and for your friends is to really be fulfilled in your own life. That truly is the only way you can give back to others. All right, rant over. <laughs>